Hello YouTubers, I am here to show you my home theater system. Well, right here we have a Samsung Blu-ray player with the um, sensitive touch buttons. And if you notice, um, it's just a um, Blu-ray player. It's not one of those 3D ones or anything like that. Then we'll come down here power on the receiver, stereo amplifier. Then we'll power on the TV. And here I'll show you some of the neat features of the player and one reason why in particular I have purchased it. Alright, reason why I purchased this player mainly is because it's um, I have an older stereo receiver that does not have the HDMI inputs on it and so I bought this player with the a analog output jacks or 7.1 analog output jacks which I'm going to show you in a sec. Okay, as you can see, these are the um, 7.1 analog output jacks. Um, since my stereo receiver doesn't have an HDMI input on it, um, this is how I get my Dolby True HD, my DTS Master Audio, and it goes right down in here. And also have this. Um, Zenith VCR right down here, which um, is one of the last standalone VCRs that um, I got in uh, before they quit making standalone VCRs. And now I'm going to show you some of the features of the player. Here. Alright, now I'm going to show you some of the features on the player. Here. I'm going to open up the Pandora radio. And yes, this player has the built in Wi Fi on it. Doesn't require an adapter or anything like that. through the multi-channel inputs right now that I use for um, for the um, home theater surround sound and this is using then once I switch it it's going to go using the one the optical connections hmm. only sounds different because the way I have it set up and Note as I was talking about the VCR, all the audio and video is connected straight to the TV and the audio is connected from the um, TV to the stereo receiver using one of the optical cables seen right back here. Um, right right about here if you can see where my finger is pointing so that's about it hope you enjoyed